know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. Gujarat Statue of Unity is without doubt an engineering marvel that can be truly described as one of the wonders of modern India. At a height of 182 meters, this statue of the Indian statesman and maker of modern India, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel, is the tallest in the world. Lacks of people who visit the statue every month can't help but feel overawed by this remarkable feat of engineering that is a tribute to a national hero. Located around 100 km southeast from the city of Vadodara and around 200 km from Gujarat's largest city, Ahmedabad, the Statue of Unity is located on an island in the Narmada River near the town of Kevadia in Gujarat's Narmada district. Surrounded by greenery and thick forests, visitors get an elusive glimpse of the statue as they approach it. As they move closer and closer, the sheer majesty of the monument gradually unveils itself. The Statue of Unity is a tribute to one of the tallest leaders of India's freedom struggle, Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. Born in 1875 in Nadiad in Khera district of Gujarat, Sardar Patel played a very important role in India's road to independence. A lawyer from Middle Temple Inn in London, Sardar Patel gave up this thriving legal practice and joined the Indian freedom struggle to fight for Swaraj or self-rule. He was instrumental in the Kheda Satyagraha of 1918 and the Bardoli Satyagraha of 1928, in which he organized Gujarat's farmers to fight against the oppressive laws of the British Raj. In fact, it was the women of Bardoli during the Satyagraha who conferred on him the title of Sardar or Chief. Few know that it was on Sardar Patel's advice that in 1946, local farmers of Anand organized themselves in Kaira District Milk Producers Union Limited. This later came to be known as Amul. Following India's independence in 1947, he became the first Home Minister of the newly independent India. Patel was instrumental in the establishment of the Indian Administrative Service, which he famously described as India's steel frame. His greatest achievement, undoubtedly, was the integration of more than 300 princely states into the Indian Union. Till 1947, India had been divided into hundreds of small and large principalities. It was through Sardar Patel's firm tact that these states, which included Hyderabad, Kashmir and Junagar were integrated to make a united and strong India. So it is no surprise that this tribute to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel is known as the Statue of Unity. Inaugurated on 31st October, this is the largest statue in the world. The iconic statue of Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil is 38 meters high. The motherland calls in Volgograd in Russia is 85 meters tall. The famous Statue of Liberty in New York is 93 meters high. The Ushiku Daibutsu in Japan is 120 meters high. While the Sprint Temple of Buddha in China is 153 meters high. This makes the 182-meter high the Statue of Unity tallest in the world. Visitors begin their tour of the main Statue of Unity complex here. As they enter, they can admire the vistas of the Narmada River that flows by the statue and catch a glimpse of the Sardar Sarovar Dam. A long pathway leads to Sadhu Bait Island on which the statue stands. Moving up the escalators, you come at the foot of the statue. From here, you can admire the sheer scale and size of it. From here, you take a lift right up to the viewing gallery, which is situated at a height of 153 meters at the chest level of the statue. A super fast lift takes you up in just 30 seconds. 
The grills of the viewing gallery, designed to allow the passage of high-velocity winds, also give a spectacular vantage view of the Sardar Sarovar Dam and the surrounding forests. From the viewing gallery, visitors descend to the exhibition hall. The exhibition hall covers an area of 4,657 square meters in the pedestal portion of the Statue of Unity. It contains a museum dedicated to the life of Sardar Patel and showcases his role in India's freedom struggle against the British Raj. It also covers the merger of Indian princely states and how he helped create a unified country. Through interactive audiovisual displays, visitors can discover the life of this remarkable man. The museum also has audiovisual exhibits on the life and culture of the tribals of Gujarat, on the Shulpaneshwar Wildlife Sanctuary, and on the Sardar Sarovar Dam. Within the complex is also the Wall of Unity. It has been built from soil collected from over 1.69 lakh villages across the country. It symbolizes India's unity. As the sun goes down, the complex comes alive with a sound and light show with laser lights that brings to light the life and work of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. There are many other great attractions beyond the main complex of the Statue of Unity. Stretching around 17 kilometers from the banks of Narmada and spread over 250 hectares is the Valley of Flowers. Home to more than 100 varieties of flowers, the garden also provides a beautiful vantage point from where the statue as well as the Sardar Sarovar Dam can be viewed. Just beyond the Valley of Flowers is the Sardar Sarovar Dam itself, one of the largest dams in India. A part of one of the most important irrigation projects in post-independence India, the dam's grandeur can be viewed from the viewpoint number three, just beyond the Valley of Flowers. The Sardar Sarovar Dam is one of the world's largest concrete gravity dam, 1.2 kilometers long and 163 meters high from the deepest foundational levels. It has 30 radial gates weighing 450 tons each. For the continuous flow of water in the river Narmada, downstream from the dam, water is released from the Godbole Gate, which is a tourist attraction in itself. Beyond the Godbole Gate is the main canal head regulator, from where the 485-kilometer-long Narmada Main Canal originates. It is the world's largest concrete-lined irrigation canal. Each year, 11.7 billion cubic meters of water is conveyed through this canal. On the other side of the river is a cactus garden managed by the Gujarat Forest Department. It is home to some 400 varieties of cacti. Around 14 kilometers from the Statue of Unity is the Zarvani waterfall that is a nature lover's delight. Those who wish to explore local areas further can visit the nearby town of Rajpipla on the banks of River Karjan. This is a tributary of the river Narmada. Raj Pipla was once a kingdom of the Gohil Rajputs and the town is littered with the remnants of its princely past. Around 9 kilometers from the Raj Pipla is the Karjan Dam, which is also popular with tourists. The Karjan Dam reservoir is surrounded by thick forests. But one of the most spectacular attractions is deep inside the reservoir. Travelling through the forests and taking two different boat rides, you come to Junaraj, the old fortress that was the capital of the Gohils before the capital shifted to Rajpipla. While the old city went under the reservoir, the Nilkant Mahadev temple rises out of the waters of the Karjan reservoir and it is truly a sight to behold. Visit Gujarat Statue of Unity and its surrounding areas and you will find the wonders it holds.